day 1198. I feel convicted. I feel convicted. Um, I was just thinking about um, today and that Bible study. And um, someone made a comment uh, like they said, um, I would never want to debate with you about the Bible because I know my word, but you really know your word. And when I actually think about it, I don't, I know maybe like 1% or half a percent of the word of God. Like I haven't read the whole Bible. I haven't even read 20% of it um, or 10% of it. I don't even think, no, probably not even 10%, maybe like six or 7%. And I just feel this conviction like, man, Chris, look at how God is using you. And look at how God's using you. And you've only read a fraction of the Bible. Like, imagine how much God would use you if you actually read a lot of the Bible. Imagine if instead of only having read 7% of the Bible, you actually read 70% of the Bible. Because it's just like, man, look at how much God is using me. And it's like, everyone thinks that I know my word. Like uh, my campus pastor was saying the other day, like, you know, you, you know the word extensively and understand it deeply. And I'm like... I don't though. I, I know the word that I do know. I, I know the things that I have read, but I don't know the full word. Like, and I don't know that we could ever know the word. The word is God. The word is Jesus. Like, so it's like, I mean, how could you ever know the word? But I haven't read an, a lot of the Bible and I'm just, I feel convicted because it's like, wow, Lord, I've read a very small percentage of the Bible. Like if the Bible's 1200 pages, I definitely have not read 120 pages. So I haven't read 10%. 60 pages. I've probably read like 60 pages. So I probably read 50 pages of the Bible. Now I've studied verses in depth in, in Greek and Hebrew. Um, and that helps a lot, but I've read 5% of the Bible, 5% of the Bible. And look at what God is how he uses me and it's like man chris imagine if you read the whole thing what god can do and i feel like i'm literally limiting what i could be used for how how good of a vessel i could be for the lord and what the lord could do through me because i don't know the word well enough i, don't, I haven't read 95 percent of the bible but he's using me powerfully and whenever we have a conversation about the bible or the word of god like i'm always the one that's just like quoting scripture after scripture after scripture. And I can see how it looks like I really know the word because I know what I do know, but I don't know 95% of it. So I know what I know, but I don't know 95% of it. And it's like, just imagine if I, if I knew it, what God could do through me, how he could use me as, as a voluntary vessel. Whew. I just feel like these last these last few days, like God is just really giving me this conviction to turn to the word. It's got to be my source every day. It's got to be my number one focus every day. Like that's got to be it. Because I look at the conversation, you know, that we had today at Bible study, and it was like, it was intense. Like it was, it wasn't a debate, but it was kind of a debate. And, you know, I'm having this conversation with two pastors and someone who knows like the word of God, like crazy. And I was just driving. And I was like, man, Lord, I wish I knew the word like that guy knows. And it was like, so then do the work. You can know the word like that guy knows if you just put in the work and the effort. That guy knows the word because he spent the time and the effort diving into it. But the crazy thing is, even while we were like kind of debating, that guy who knows the word, he couldn't really like... I don't, I don't know how to say this. I don't want to like, I don't, I don't feel prideful, but I don't want to sound prideful, but he couldn't like hold his ground. Like he, he knew the word, but it was just like, God has given me the word and wisdom. And so it's like, man, what an amazing gift that he's given me that I'm wasting. Like, I'm just not even using it to its full potential. I'm using 5% of what, what God has given me. What would happen if I used 95%? So I really need to just freaking step up and make the Bible a priority, reading it every day a priority. I'm so excited to move into this new place and step into this 
this routine, just a, a new life, a new setting, a new routine, a new environment. Um, and I know that that's an excuse, but it really feels like the truth. Um, and so, yeah, so I'm going to go and relax a little bit and then I'm going to read the word and read the story about of Moses because tomorrow I teach my, my calling class. And so, yeah. I need to read the Bible every day. I just feel like there's thousands of weapons on the table that I'm not even picking up because I haven't even read the word. It's crazy. And I feel like God just revealed that today. Like, Chris, look at, look at how much wisdom you have from reading 5% in the Bible. Imagine if you read the other 95%. Like, just imagine how God could use me. Dang, step up, bro. Wow. Because it's like, I feel like God just gives me understanding of the word. Like, not just reading it, but I feel like he gives me deep wisdom around it that I shouldn't have, that I haven't, I haven't been a Christian my whole life. I, this is, like, God gives me wisdom that there are believers that have known those verses or that chapter for 20 or 30 years, but they don't have that wisdom and that insight. And I feel like wisdom is one of my spiritual gifts that God has given me and something I, I pray for so much. And, um, yeah. I need to get my I need to get my Bible reading life on point and my prayer life on point. I got to get both of those things on point. I got I need to I was thinking this when I was driving home like I need to read a book on prayer and really understand the power of prayer because I don't understand the power of prayer or I don't fully believe in the power of prayer. Um but I've never really learned stuff about prayer but I've seen the power of it. Um I just need to understand the necessity of it and and the importance of it and the significance and, and why it's so necessary in this walk with Christ. So, yeah, I need to take my faith to a new level. <laughs> like, I need to step up. It's just the reality. Awesome. That's exciting.